shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really exciting because we are trying Fit Life Foods. I was really inspired by Karen from KK and Baby J to try this stuff. They're located in the Dr. Phillips area and I just wanted to try it. This is not sponsored or affiliated or anything. Wish they would because the uh, meals are a little bit pricier, but you can compare it kind of to eating out. We were comparing it to Panda Express, Four Rivers, Hooters, those types of things. It's kind of the same price range, like nine, ten dollars per meal, but you're getting a lot less food. And I know that sounds bad, but it's good for portion control and it's all fresh with no chemicals and stuff. We've made it to Fit Life Foods. All right, so we are here and they kind of label everything um, with colors. So the green is like lunch and dinner and then the blue over there is breakfast. I'm excited. I'm looking at all this stuff and it actually looks really good. And I'm a pretty picky eater. Sherry's like going crazy over I'm here. Not. All right, Sherry, show the camera which ones you got. Well, I got um, three protein mixed grill. I got the same one. And grilled chicken vegetables. I got the same one. And simply grilled salmon. And the simply grilled salmon. Okay, I got all of those. And I got the mac and cheese. And I also am gonna try the firecracker shrimp. So these all look pretty good. I'm excited. And then the rest of the other three are the same as Sherry. Grilled chicken and vegetables. Okay. Because they both are used by the 27th, which is tomorrow. And I don't have the shrimp. Yeah. And the salmon is like good the longest for me. Yeah. And then um, the three protein mix Are you grill. mixing all of our meals? Well, just those two. Okay. Because um, they're the same. January 30th is your three protein mix grill, but my protein mix grill is the 27th. Is mine tomorrow? Oh. So I'm going to eat that one tomorrow. Okay. So we're going to try the chicken and vegetables. So we'll try the chicken and vegetables. These okay. are yours. So these are mine. I'll show you mine. Sherry and I got the same ones. I showed this in my previous vlog, but I need to try mac and cheese because you guys know I'm the queen of mac and cheese. We have the chicken and vegetables, which we're gonna try and do kind of like a little mukbang first impression. That's why you're watching this video. I have some shrimp here, and this goes bad 129, which I still have some time on that. And then this is the meat, the three protein mixed grill. So that looks really good. And then we have the salmon. I bought a good portion of these just to try a variety to see what I like and see what I don't like. Okay, so what we're eating, the grilled chicken and vegetables is chicken, zucchini, red bell pepper, tomato paste, dried dates, balsamic vinegar, sea salt, and ground mustard. This is one of their low carb meals. We both got, I think size medium because they do a small, medium, and large. It's 360 calories with 16 grams of fat, 42 grams of protein, and eight net carbs, which is what I'm looking for is net carbs. They also have 100% guarantee, so if you get something you don't like, they will um, take it back and give you a refund. So, instructions, remove, it says id, but I'm sure it means lid. I'm sure the L Wait, does it actually see, say that? Remove id, because you can't see the L. Remove oh my it gosh, and replace. That's so funny. Maybe the printers. Replace something. loosely. Okay, so it's supposed to be on there loosely. So just take it off, put it on there loosely. Heat for one minute, 30 seconds, or two minutes until 165 degrees is reached. Well, I can't really test the 165 degrees, so we'll just do it for. I like mine for two minutes. How do you want yours? I don't know. I like to make sure mine is like really hot. Well, I'll put mine for two minutes too. Okay. Aren't you oh, supposed to leave the lid like yes, loosely yes, on there? Yes. Reading the directions thank is you, good. I know, thank you for reminding me loosely. Okay, two minutes. So. Okay, so this is the grilled chicken and vegetables. Ow, ow, ow. I'm gonna kind of stir it up. It said it had a little bit of balsamic something on it. So. It smells like it. So it's wait, is this zucchini? Bit. Yes, this is zucchini. Zucchini and this is tomato? Yeah, with a little tomato paste on it, which is like a little- Oh, I like, like tomatoes. Yeah, so right. that's kind of what it is. So it's a lot, of chi a lot of chicken. Yep. Okay, so. It's a good portion of chicken. It is. All right. Mm. I was nervous it was going to be like too bland. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is. What inspired me to do this was the portion control. Because it's like a set amount. I'm just known for kind of overeating. Mm -hmm. Well, yep. that I think is very helpful for that. And yeah. It's only eight grams of carbs. So it's about the same or maybe, maybe only one carb or two more than what something comparable would be with Adkins. And it's much tastier because it's fresh. It's not been frozen for like two or three months before I buy it and then. Oh yeah, that's kind of true. And in my refrigerator for a couple weeks before I eat it, 
Zucchini's not bad. I mean, I've had zucchini before, but like this is like my real time actually like. I, I, is zucchini a vegetable? It is. That's probably why I like it. I do like vegetables. I'm not really a fan of zucchini, but this is really good. It's tasty. Normally zucchini doesn't have any taste, right? Mm, I don't know. Anyway, you can tell that this is like actual real chicken that's been cut up. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, take that part out. Why? I miss my mouth. I'm keeping that in there. <laughs> that's gonna be the thumbnail. I thought you were gonna say take the part out of you saying it's real chicken because I'm like no, but it is you can I'm tell like it's real you can chicken. tell I'm like I don't think you were lying. Mm -mm. Probably because I'm eating it with the little spoon. I should have gotten a fork, but I thought <laughs> it was gonna have more sauce on it, and I want to like scoop the sauce up in the spoon. No, so it didn't have sauce on it, but it's very tasty. So what is this like red stuff? Is that tomato? Um, Maybe it's pepper. No, I think it's pepper. Oh, okay. But I don't think I got any in mine. <laughs> it's like cooked, but it's cooked with that. But you know, you it's just happen to get some. Okay. Or a poblano pepper. Let me try it. Oh, wait, wait. There's, okay, these are like dates. Dates? Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm -hmm. Like D A T E S? Mm -hmm. Or maybe they just cooked it with It's like a form of nut. Okay, but I think mm. this is a carrots. Carrots. It tastes more like or pepper. It could be peppers. It tastes more like peppers. Mm, it's pepper. So I did get a little bit. Yeah. And they say they don't put like any chemicals and stuff in this. Mm -hmm. Like no preservatives. So what do you say comparable to compared to, I don't know, other low carb or whatever? Do you think it's worth the price? I don't know. I don't know if it'd be worth the price to me every day because it's expensive. Not every day. Yeah, no, no, no. If I had unlimited funds, as, yeah. you, as you say, mm -hmm. then I think it would be. Then it would be. But, but for the because average... we can get like Adkins Frozen mm -hmm. at four for ten bucks or something like that. I personally don't eat Adkins stuff. Oh, except for the cauliflower bites. Those are good. I don't really eat Adkins stuff. I eat more like salads and... Well, I my do. Lunch I have them every day for lunch, and yeah. I know that's not really great because it's mm -hmm. frozen, got all chemicals in it, mm -hmm. and honestly, the chicken is like chicken pieces parts, kind of. I mean, it doesn't look like this. It doesn't look like okay. a chicken has chicken breast has been chopped cut, up cut or up. anything. Uh huh. We actually got quite a bit of chicken in here. Mm -hmm. If it was right around oh, the corner, yeah, yeah, you're right. If we had one next to Publix that we could just pop into, it'd be worth it. It would be worth it. Yeah, yeah. But if you can stop on your way home, it's it could be on your way home. True, which I could. And you also get, um, like, most of this stuff is, like, grown organically. I mean, you have vegetarian options. They do? No, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. They also have things like the Impossible <clears throat> Burger. It was a plant-based burger. But um, it was higher in carbs, because when you have that, they use something to hold all that, you know, plant material together. And that's that the makes carbohydrate. Sense. So, mm -hmm. well, this one I like. Mm-hmm. So what else do we have that we have the same thing? The meat lover? I call it meat lover. It's a three meat thing. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, the three protein thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got like chicken. What else? Steak. Mm -hmm. Chicken steak and something mm. else. I don't know. Did she say it was like one of them has like a turkey sausage in it or something? Mm. That's the one. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have the salmon. Yeah. Salmon I can't wait to try. I know. I have high hopes. Like I'm hoping it's not too plain. Now, the expiration date, that's the same for both of us. So maybe we can eat that on the same night together. Okay, so this is what the shrimp looks like. And then we had the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese was hot, so it kind of burned me and like slipped. I'm like, you too expensive to be wasted. So <laughs> I kind of scooped it back in the, not all of it came out. It was just like a little bit. I can guarantee you, I don't like the smell of this when it's like frozen, but it smells a lot better once it's cooked. I don't know if that makes sense. Hmm. So the seasoning tastes kind of weird, but it's not bad. It looks like something that they put with the rice, like a little seasoning, which is interesting. Maybe it's garlic or something like garlic. Then I'm gonna try the green beans for you guys. They do taste fresh. Kind of plain, but fresh. Like it's not a bad type of plain. I like that fresh taste. And I'm gonna try some of the rice. I think this is a stuff that has like a lot of stuff in it. 
Actually, I think it's the shrimp. It's whatever they put on the shrimp makes it smell funky. Again, it's not as bad when it's cooked, but let me try the rice. Hmm, not bad, not bad. That's pretty good. The moment of truth, the mac and cheese. I'm hoping this is good. It smells really good, so. Um, also guys, I did finish this. It was really good. I just had to like get used to it because I normally don't like a lot of like things touching and like mixed and everything. But overall, like it was pretty tasty. And I find when I am like getting used to the stuff, I eat slower, which is actually good for you. Anyway, let's just try the mac and cheese. It's kind of plain, not gonna lie. Don't think I would purchase this one again. The other two I just had, like this one I would purchase again. And then the chicken one that Sherry and I ate earlier. Oh, definitely. But this is just kind of plain. I'm gonna start staying dressed. Okay. <laughs> so this is what the salmon looks like. Show yours, Sherry. <gasps> oh shit. Oh <laughs> shit. Well, that's good for that's them. That's what happened with my mac and cheese. Oh, did you do the same thing? No, 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 not showing the oh. camera. Okay, well, <laughs> let's try you it. You saw it here first. Salmon, really good, let's we see. We have salmon, asparagus, and kale. This is a good amount of salmon. Mm -hmm. Salmon is good. Asparagus, let's see. Mm. Okay. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me try the asparagus. It's like steaming. Ah. When you like these stuff really hot. Yeah. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, you'll know. They give her a mm. cup of coffee. Oh, be careful, ma'am, it's hot. Drinks it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and um, while we were waiting for this to cool down, Ooh. We also got our side salads. And guys, I did have an appetizer of some pretzels when I got home, because I was so hungry. Pretzels should not be eaten as an appetizer. I'm sorry, but it was just a little <laughs> some, some. So that's why I have a small salad over here. It looks big in the camera, but it's mm -hmm. it's a teeny one. And Sherry has a large. I have a big salad, because I did not have pretzels, so I have a bigger salad with some um, tomato and pepperoni. And cucumber. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cucumber. Mm. This tastes really fresh. Mm-hmm. How's the kale? Good. Or is that lettuce? Mm -mm. I think it is kale. Is it good? I don't think I've ever had kale. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like anything. Hot lettuce. Okay, this is definitely one that I'm gonna get again. Mm-hmm. Salmon's so good. A plus, A plus plus. Not as good as Valerie's salmon, we must say that. Itchy eye. But Valerie can't fix the salmon every night, so. This is the next best thing. We have this. I've come to the conclusion I'm not going to get the shrimp one because it just smelled weird. <laughs> like, honestly, it's mm -hmm. not like it was bad. It was just too expensive to not like fully love it. We like the chicken one. Mm -hmm. And Sherry tried the meat one yesterday. Mm -hmm. She said she liked it. I'll have to give it the test. It was like super protein. So I think it had like chicken and some slices of beef and turkey sausage. And with this one, I think basically for all the meals, you just put it in the microwave for two minutes. Very quick and easy. I know, and then you get like a nice gourmet meal. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some insight on Fit Life Foods and everything. So if you live in one of the areas they deliver to, check them out. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.